Hi guys and welcome to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. This video is meant for you guys today as a thank you for sticking up with me, watching my videos and you know, you're allowing me for all of this to happen. So I cannot thank you enough. So we've reached the next milestone of 4,000 subscribers, which means that we get the next puzzle of 4,000 pieces. And I know you've already seen the puzzle, but let me show it to you again. It's a 4,000 piece puzzle by Casterland and the title of this one is The Spirit Island. So for those of you who've already seen my videos, you know that this puzzle is actually divided into three bags, but that's okay <laughs> because the 5k puzzle is only in one bag and it's a really difficult image. So I had to take one easy one in between, but I don't know which section each bag is. So it's going to be a bit of a guessing game. But when I was looking into the puzzle, I read that someone basically spent twice as much time for this section that they did for both of them. So basically this one is supposed to be the most difficult one. So I'm going to try to do this one at the end. <laughs> I don't know, should I do it in the beginning when I'm not that tired? I don't know. But I've got three days ahead of me and I said if I do one bag on each day that should be fine. It should be about 1300 pieces in each bag. So I was thinking if I should do the three hour thing, you know, to three hour speed puzzling and then just leisurely finishing the puzzle. But it just feels like it's a bit bigger. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna try that because I think it's good for endurance and also it goes quicker because otherwise I just take breaks like every 45 minutes, take a 15 minute break and then it basically takes me the entire day to finish a thousand piece puzzle. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the three hour thing and I don't know which bag to start with. Oh, I'm nervous. Like I'm excited but I'm nervous at the same time because, okay. Oh. I think it's actually not that difficult. I think it basically goes by the picture. So I think this is this section. Oh, can you see it? I think the first bag is gonna be this section. The middle bag is gonna be this section. And then the third bag is gonna be the last section. So what to start with? I think I'm gonna start with the first bag because it just seems like, I don't know, it's something in the lake because you can see the direction of like the, the waves or the water. So I think I'm gonna start with that one and I'm gonna start with the first bag. So I'm hoping it's that one. And then, yeah, we are gonna see how long it takes and then move on to the next ones. So it's time to crack on with the puzzling and I really hope that I'm gonna pick the right bag. I wasn't really sure which technique to use for this puzzle because it's a little bit bigger than an average thousand piece puzzle. So I wasn't sure if I'm gonna actually have enough space to do the full flip, but I did. And I eliminated the edge as well and I started building the edge. And I just realized after that I'm actually missing one side of the frame because obviously it's a continuous image. So I would only have three sides of the frame on this puzzle. And I actually thought I had a really good start. I thought everything was going really quickly. And then when I decided to do another sword oh my god my back started aching so much but it was so good once the sorting was complete because then I actually had space on the table to push the puzzle forward because one friend of mine told me that when she does like portrait puzzle she moves from the top to bottom I decided I'm gonna use this technique because I just thought that first of all the pieces were more obvious and second of all I really do not like stretching over the puzzle because it just like I mentioned I puzzle without my glasses on because I have prescription and it just becomes so difficult for me to see so far ahead of me and then after I finish all of the mountain bits and moving on to the grass I wouldn't say it became a lot more complicated but there was a difference for sure especially once I came to the trees like once I came to the trees I was like oh my god honestly the forest was so difficult to do but I felt like I had so little pieces that I didn't want to move to the water because water had almost twice or even three times the amount of pieces and I felt like there's not that many pieces I can do that but it just took forever <laughs> yeah I did mention that I don't like greenery and like trees and all of that in puzzles so that was definitely my least favorite part of the entire puzzle what I've really liked about moving to the next section is that there wasn't that many pieces and there was quite like a clear color gradient or color difference. So it was quite easy to eliminate specific pieces away from each other, if you know what I mean. Because I kind of wanted to do that first before doing the water because the water had so many pieces. And don't get me wrong, it was quite easy. It had quite specific color gradient. And also because of the waves, you can see the direction in which the pieces have to be turned. But still, it was quite a big chunk of the puzzle and I kind of wanted to do the bottom first. So it would help me with knowing which pieces comes next. 
it felt like the leg section was moving really slow but it was actually quite easy because i almost had no errors like as soon as i picked the pieces up i almost immediately knew where it has to go because the color was quite specific i just needed some more time to search because obviously i had more pieces to go through okay so it's the next day i have given up last night i went into my pajamas you probably saw that this puzzle Oh my, well, I honestly thought I was a bit surprised with how quickly the bottom section went because I basically spent four hours doing the top and then it was about two and a half hours to doing the bottom because obviously it helps with the water. There is like a slight gradient and obviously have the lines which helps because you know which direction the pieces are turned. But this was, ooh, <laughs> honestly, like I thought this was supposed to be the next video, just so you know, like last week's video. And I realized after the first chunk, I was like, there's no way I finish the entire puzzle in two days. So I decided to, you know, work on it for a little bit longer. But as you can see, so this is about 1300 pieces, right? So that's the size of it, because I don't know if all of you know, but Castellant is known to having like smaller size pieces. So they can fit basically larger puzzles. Like this, this is supposed to be the size of a thousand piece puzzle. You see the board and this puzzle is 1300 pieces and it's smaller than an average thousand piece puzzle, which is really good. And the pieces are not actually that small because I thought in the beginning that, you know, it's going to be a bit difficult to work with them because I knew they're going to be smaller, but they're actually quite normally sized. Like I wouldn't really notice a difference unless I had a normal size puzzle next to it and be like, oh, look, this one is smaller. But if I just had this one on my table, I wouldn't even notice probably. I completely forgot to check the quality before we went into it, but the quality is really good. I'm really impressed. I managed to have a couple of misfits when I was doing the tree area because everything just looked completely the same. This was the time when I realized that I'm not going to be able to finish the video when I was already at like three and a half hours and I'm just like, couldn't get the 10 pieces in. But other than that, the quality is really good. I love that it has all different shapes. The fit is nice. It has a little bit of gloss, but it's not too much like with some puzzles. So it's really good. I'm really, really happy with the quality because I don't know if I mentioned, no, I know I definitely didn't mention in this video I mentioned when I got it, but this puzzle was basically gifted to me by Castellan. Well, technically I asked for it. <laughs> so I basically filled in the contact form and I was like, well, I really want to do this puzzle for the 4,000 subscribers milestone and they basically send it to me amongst other stuff as well. I got another two puzzles and also like a mug and pen and some promotional material. And every time I get something gifted to me, it's always a little bit like a, I don't know how to explain, but like a tricky situation because obviously I want to do good by them, but then also I would never lie to you. So don't ever think that I would lie about the quality just because it was gifted to me for free because I specifically say that I'm always going to be honest and if something is going to be really, really bad quality, I'm going to message them first before publish the video. I'm going to be like, do you really want me to publish that? So don't you worry. Just because it was gifted to me, I'm not going to lie to you. And also, I think you already know that Castellan has good quality because I actually picked it because of you guys because I had so many comments saying, Try Castellan, try Castellan because they've got smaller pieces. Because I was running out of space for the 3K puzzle and I was like, I don't want to do the 4K on the floor and people kept writing like, try Castellan. So yeah, here we are doing the Castellan brand. What can I say? We've got two more bags, you know, and I think it is basically the way the box is packed. I think it's the same as how the puzzle goes. So I'm assuming that the middle bag is basically going to be the middle section. And I'm really hoping that the cut is the same on all three bags because what I'm gonna do when I come to the last section because this one looks tough I mean have you seen it so I'm gonna try to figure out if the piece cut pattern matches and then I'm gonna copy it because there is no cheating in puzzling <laughs> I cannot wait actually to see it being put together like the whole puzzle I think it's gonna be so much fun but anyway I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more puzzling today you know, because it's, I don't know if you can see, but I'm basically running out of daylight. So there's no point to start, but I think I might have some leisure. Um, what is it called? Sorting 
because I didn't saw this puzzle and I think I made a mistake. One thing I do think will help with the next two sections is now that I've really got to learn a lot about the puzzle, I think sorting the next section is gonna be so much easier because I already kind of know the textures and everything. So, I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. Wish me luck. Like I mentioned, I decided to do the sorting and I did it on the sofa leisurely. I wanted to watch the TV as I was doing it, but it didn't really work because, as you can see, I had to take my glasses off because it starts to hurt. So what I've done here, I basically prepared one of the edge from the last section of the puzzle. So I have sort of like a frame, so I have three sides because this puzzle actually only had the bottom and the top of the frame. Because of the previous section, I thought it's gonna be really easy to work after doing the sorting. Everything was going in between each other and it just didn't work for me, so I just had to move on and try to find like the edge to start connecting things because it, it became really difficult. Like I honestly felt like I wasn't moving anywhere at all. Like I spent what, over two hours just on doing the sky section. It was awful. I honestly thought after how long it took me to put the sky together that I'm gonna be spending like 10 hours on this puzzle, easy. But then when I realized how difficult this middle section is, I decided to just move on to the water, even though there was quite a lot of pieces there. But I knew that the water was the easiest part for me from the first section. So I just thought if I just do that, and make myself some sort of frame and then it's gonna be easier to do everything around it. So that's why I decided to do that and then the rocks were quite easy because obviously I had somewhere to fill. And I have to admit that in the middle section the green stuff were easier because I had so little of them. It was so easy to see the difference between the lighter and the darker pieces and there were so little of them that it wasn't confusing at all. I did get stuck when doing the trees though because oh the trees. You just don't know which direction the pieces are turned. Everything just looks the same. Like there is nothing specific that you can even search for. Normally I would look like for a line that goes through somewhere or something like that. But with this one was just like everything was the same. But I'm not gonna complain too much because that wasn't even the worst part of the puzzle, honestly. Like moving down, like that yellow, honestly. I know I was doing it without the daylight, so that probably didn't help but I just couldn't see any color difference, any shades or anything. Everything just looked the same to me. All that I could see out of the yellow pieces were basically the rocks hiding behind the grass. So that really helped because I managed to fill those sections up and then I had less pieces left for other stuff. But this yellow grass was by far the most difficult part of this puzzle so far. Okay, so the second bag is complete and I'm so happy about it. It took me a little bit longer. I know I had, I was working over a course of few days. So for some reason, my timer kept going back to zero. So I couldn't just keep, you know, continuing the timer. So I think in total, it was about six hours plus half an hour sorting. Not bad. I think time wise, a little bit longer than the first one. But still, you know, that grass at the bottom, that took quite a while. And someone actually commented that they've already done the puzzle and that this last section, like the yellow part, was just a nightmare. I have to say that once you only have those pieces left, you can actually see the difference in like a shade and texture. So that does help a little bit. But there is also another thing that, you know, I had to do. I didn't do it for this puzzle. But I said for the next one, especially because of the comment that I got, I was like, if I get stuck with the yellow grass, I have to know if there's a repeat cut pattern. And I figured it out. So I've got both of the puzzles here with me now. And what I tend to do, because there's one thing that you don't actually count in when you're doing the puzzle, is you only had like the top and the bottom of the frame. So what I did is I took one line from this one and used it as like a side of the frame. And I did the same with this one. I already have it ready for, for when I do the last bag. You can see, where is it? Yeah, so it's already ready for when I do it. Um, and what I noticed is that there is just one slight thing. I think the entire puzzle, you know, where it's got the second bag, you can see the difference because there is like the slightest difference in the color. And I thought that I was missing an edge piece and then I realized it actually fits perfectly but it's just a little bit like a color different just at the top, like the top two pieces. I had it with Ravensburger as well. I think there was like a bit of a cut difference in the middle with the 3000 piece puzzle where, you know, the two bags were connected. So yeah, what I wanted to say basically about the repeat cut pattern, right? So this 
one line is obviously from that side of the puzzle but if I flip it around I think it's the same cut as here if I'm not mistaken no oh it's that one so this piece fits here okay you can see it's a perfect fit so that means that I have to figure it out now okay yeah if I flip this puzzle around like that so now the piece cut pattern should match so if I try let's say that one we've got the same one here so that should be there's a little bit it doesn't go in as nicely but it's basically the same piece okay so it doesn't completely match like I cannot push this piece in but it is actually the same piece and the pattern the cut pattern is the same so even if it doesn't match completely as long as I know that you know the order of the pieces if I get stuck with the yellow grass I'm definitely using that so I'm gonna just put those two back now because now I have to talk to you okay I don't know what to do with the third bag <laughs> so obviously I've done the first bag with full flip and then I did sorting as I went but this was actually the easiest well the easiest that one was so much easier than this one should I flip that around so you can you can see the nice picture let me do that for you so you know what, what I'm talking about basically okay I hope you can see both of the puzzles I'm gonna try to squeeze them together okay so with this first puzzle right it was really easy to do the sky because it was very you know it was just one section then we had very specific we had mountains then we had two very different colors of green and then we had water okay so that was really easy to separate and I didn't do the sorting for this one that was a mistake and with this one because obviously after I did that one I was like I should have done the sorting so when I got to this one I was like I'm doing the sorting and let me tell you it's just even with the sky completely useless I had to have all three out at the same time because there was just they were going in between each other too much like I couldn't just make a specific section I think the only things that were actually accurate with sorting for this puzzle were those trees because there was not that much green and obviously everything that was left was here there was only a few pieces so it was really easy to know that you know this all goes into that one section because the rocks you've got them here you've got them there it's like okay the water is fine but it's still separated in so many places okay let me show that to you a bit closer so as you can see the water you've got you know sections of water so it wasn't like one connected thing with the rocks as well like this part was quite easy but this one I didn't know what went where and obviously this yellow section was quite easy to find but I've already separated it into the yellow grass so I had to literally look for it but this puzzle was like I think it was a little bit pointless to sort I mean I think it was good in a way that I had space on the table because there was no pieces but I don't know that's why I'm like so confused I've got one bag left you see the last one and I genuinely do not know what to do because again if you see on the picture the trees are across the entire picture the sky is like separated as well oh I mean I don't know it just feels like sorting takes a lot of time and then if it's not done well it's completely pointless so I cannot decide what to do anyway I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to finish this puzzle today even though it's now half 11 and I'm gonna run out of daylight or it's really overcast today anyway or like even foggy so the Sun is really not gonna be helpful but at least you know having daylight is still better than no daylight I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to do the last section but I said I'm gonna probably puzzle for about five hours today and then just continue tomorrow morning unless I see that there's like really a small amount left like if I only have the grass bit left after five hours no because the grass bit is gonna be the hardest that's gonna take me like it took me one and a half hour just to finish the grass section it was such a tiny one and this one is twice the size of that one 
so I don't know. I do have the piece cut pattern though, I could use that. It would make my life a hell of a lot easier. But anyway, I'm gonna head off to doing the last section. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sort it or, you know, full flip it. But it's okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm really looking forward to assemble all three together. I need a dining table for that, that's why they're still not connected because I need to empty it first. But yeah. Oh, exciting. It's gonna be done soon. So after the first two sections where I didn't do the sorting when I shoot and I did the sorting when I shouldn't, I didn't really know what to do with the third one. But I kind of like the fact that I didn't have mess on my table when I was puzzling. So I decided to kind of do like a sort, but it wasn't a full sort. And I think that was a great idea because for instance, with the sky pieces, I just collected all of them together. I didn't have to think about sorting too much. So that went quicker. Obviously I had the space to work the puzzle and I can always do the micro sort later on if needed. But with this puzzle, I think it helped as well because I was building it during the day. So the shades was so much clearer to see. I honestly cannot wait for summertime because it's so much easier to puzzle, especially more difficult puzzles, because the weather has just been so bad because obviously we have winter in Slovenia now. Like sometimes it's just so overcast, like you don't even see a difference in the color at all. So I'm not sure if the daylight helped with this puzzle because when I got to the yellow section, I wanted to leave the yellow for last because from the middle section, this was the most annoying part of the puzzle. But for this one, I was like, there's less pieces. And there was quite a clear difference in the shade. So that was really strange because I've really prepared that this is going to be the most difficult part. But there were some specific leaves that were going through. So I eliminated those and managed to complete one section. There was like light green pieces and then there was like really, really almost like red pieces. Then I had dark orange and then I had dark yellow. So I had so many different shades and it really helped to close the puzzle up. But I would still say that from the grass, from the bottom section, the yellow pieces were still the most difficult ones. I don't know if it's just me, but I find it difficult to see gradient between like shades of green and shades of like orange or like red. So maybe that's why like the grass and the trees are the most difficult parts for me in the puzzle. Even though this yellow grass was literally nothing compared to the middle section, honestly, it was so much easier to close it up. But don't you worry, I still had my time to come to the most difficult part of the puzzle. And it was the trees. Honestly, the trees. Oh, and it was so far from me and I couldn't stretch over and I started flipping the puzzle around and I just couldn't figure it out. Then I decided to just divide the puzzle and just put it closer to me because it became a lot easier. But I'm not gonna lie, at that point I've really started to think like I'm gonna bring the other puzzle in and check the piece cut pattern. Because even just knowing that you can help yourself makes it more enjoyable, even if you don't use the help at the end of the day. Okay guys, the puzzle is officially complete. I forgot where I put my last piece. Oh yeah, because it was in the tree section. I was like, I can't even remember. Anyway, should I do a pickup challenge with it? Oh God, I haven't taken a picture of it yet. But I think it would hold. I hope so. Yay! So, as you can see, that's only 1,300 pieces. <gasps> okay, this was nerve-wracking. <laughs> The going down was more difficult than going up. Anyway, okay, so the puzzle is officially complete. I've done it in three sections, about 1300 pieces each. And actually, I really enjoyed it. Like, I have no idea how big it's gonna be when I put it together. Obviously, this table is not big enough for me to do that. So I've got all three sections here separately. So I'm gonna have to go to the kitchen to put it together on the dining table. So I'm gonna record that separately. Okay, so if I had to rate the bags by difficulty, I think I would say that the first one was the easiest one. And then I would say that the third one was the second easiest. And then the second one was the, the, the most difficult one out of them all. And I know that this might be a bit weird for you because I mean, it was weird for me, honestly. But when I was getting ready for this last one, I was like, oh my God, this is the most difficult bag is gonna take me twice the amount of time I saw all of this grass at the bottom and I was just like oh my god it's gonna take me forever 
but really it took me well, I think it was about six hours for the first bag, six and a half for the second and seven hours for this one, if I'm not mistaken, because I had some troubles with times in between. So I know it took me longer to, to do this one, but in terms of my enjoyment, I enjoyed this one more than the second one, because even though there is a big chunk of grass at the bottom, once I actually managed to, you know, when I had good lighting and when I learned the puzzle, it was quite easy to divide it into multiple sections. So it was basically like the yellow section that was the green one and like the brownish. And this section was the hardest. I honestly, I thought the yellow grass is going to be the most difficult part of the puzzle, but it was actually the trees, which I definitely did not expect. But in that sense, I'm not actually sure what was more difficult, like the yellow grass on the second one or the, the trees. Okay, maybe this was the, the most difficult one. Because now when I look at it, I can see that there's a lot more tree section that there is like yellow grass on the other puzzle. I don't know if you can see it, but you see, oh, I don't want anything to fall. I'm really trying to be careful here. So this grass section here, the yellow one at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. It seems a little bit smaller than this section. But anyway, I really enjoyed, you know, putting the puzzle together and I actually quite like the fact that it's the same image done in three bags because every time I opened the new bag, I kind of already knew what the textures are going to be, what the colors are going to be. So it made it a lot easier. It's just, I missed water in this one because the water was obviously the easiest because you could see the lines, even though I managed to figure out at the end which direction the pieces are turned. Like, why did I not figure that out sooner? It would help so much. But when I got to those trees, I was so close, literally, so close to getting another puzzle and checking the, the piece cut pattern so I would know which piece follows. And I was like, no, Jeanette, you're not even at the seven hour mark. Just keep going, you know? I said, if, I, if it takes me so long and it becomes completely unenjoyable, then I'm gonna do it. But it was seven hours. And for me, that's, that's a great time. And it's true, I only puzzled for four hours yesterday because I got a really bad headache and I just couldn't. I was just staring at the puzzle, so it might took a bit longer because of it, because for about half an hour I was really struggling. I couldn't even do anything. And I don't normally get them, so I don't know what happened, but it was really bad. I had to take painkillers, which is not normal for me. Another thing that I wanted to say about this puzzle is that I really enjoyed puzzling it. It was... I know it was taking a long time, but I wasn't speed running it. Like I know I had the timers on, but that was more for me to see how long it takes me approximately to do each section. And it wasn't really to speed run it through. Like I, I think I only did the first bag for like three hours sitting straight. But like with all other bags, I didn't even do three hours straight. I would usually do like one to two hour chunks at a time because you know, the battery dies, you have to eat, you have to go to the loo, all of that. So I wasn't really trying to be as fast as possible. And I was actually quite enjoying, I didn't really care how long it's taking me to put it together. So this was my first time doing a castle and puzzle and I have to say that I absolutely loved it. They have all variety of shapes. The cut is really good, the print is really good. I didn't have misfits. I had like a couple of, when I was doing the trees, but it was more because I couldn't really see that fire. You know, I puzzle without my glasses on. So as soon as I got closer, I realized that it doesn't actually fit together but it wasn't an actual misfit, if you know what I mean. It was like, I don't know how to explain, but I hope you understand what I'm talking about. The pieces are a little bit smaller, but I wouldn't even be able to notice it, honestly. Like, it's not that big of a difference. I think if I had like another piece from another standard size puzzle, I would probably see the difference. But really, if I just have this puzzle, I wouldn't be able to tell that it has smaller pieces, which I really like. So you don't have an impression like you're doing the miniature puzzle. So that's great. The only thing I would like to point out is something that I've already mentioned with the second bag. So between the first and the second bag, there was like two pieces that weren't like a complete perfect fit between the two cuts. There was like a little bit of a shape different and also a cut different, but everything else, I didn't have any of those problems between the second and the third bag. So I don't know what happened there. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is puzzle dust. So in the first bag, I had none. So I completely even forgot about puzzle dust. And then on the second bag, when I was doing the sorting on my sofa, 
and I was putting everything out of the bag, like the last few pieces, I was like, okay, there's puzzle dust, because I completely missed it in the first one. So the third bag, when I was doing it here, it had a little bit of puzzle dust, so I put all of that in here as well. So this is basically all the puzzle dust out of 4,000 pieces, which I think is really good, because I know that a lot of people don't like puzzle dust. I'm not a fan of puzzle dust, honestly, and probably a lot of you guys aren't either, but this puzzle has definitely been approved in terms of quality by me. So let me just take one piece out to see how easily breakable they would be. So they're actually not that thick, but they're very hard. So that's good. And yeah, let's put the puzzle together and see the final result. It was so satisfying to see this puzzle being put together, but it's so huge, like it could barely fit on my dining table. I actually had to, I, lo I dropped the edge at one point because my, my table is a bit curved, so I had to pick that up. But yeah, I decided to put it back into three bags because that's how, you know, it was intended to do. So I want to also make it easier for anyone else who wants to tackle it. They can still mix the bags if they want to, but at least they have an option, which I will not have for the next puzzle. So, oh my god. Oh, are you ready? Is the 5k puzzle that it's coming up next? Well, actually, 5,040 pieces to be precise, and one bag only. So, I think I'm gonna start assembling this one next week. I watched Vicky's video actually on how to tackle the larger puzzles and it gave me so much reassurance that I can actually do it but apparently you have to be really strict on sorting to make it easier for yourself to to do smaller chunks or like know exactly what you're working on so I'm gonna give one day of my week to this puzzle for the unforeseeable future <laughs> until the puzzle is complete basically but I'm gonna give it about five hours a day I don't want it to become stressful for me I've still got other things to do and I don't want to become overwhelming for me so every Tuesday or Wednesday I haven't decided which day I want to pick yet but it's going to be reserved for this monstrosity I just wanted to quickly thank you again for being here and supporting me and I'm gonna go and tackle this monster next and I really hope that we manage to get to 5,000 subscribers otherwise this is gonna be completely pointless oh just kidding anyway I'll see you soon <laughs> bye Ooh.